This could be the next big thing for utes in Australia, and I mean that literally. This is the latest GWM Canon Alpha. This is the Chinese brand sort of upsized ute. So it's bigger than a Ford Ranger, but smaller than a Ford F-150. But what's important about this particular one behind me is that underneath the bonnet is a more powerful and yet very frugal plug-in hybrid powertrain. Now this particular car has been brought here for us to evaluate ahead of GWM Australia's strong consideration of whether or not they actually will release it in this country. So let's take a look at it and tell you all about it. GWM is blazing an electrified path in the Australian market, offering a range of hybrids and the all-electric Aura hatch. So the introduction of a plug-in hybrid powertrain makes a lot of sense, especially in its bigger models, the Canon Alpha and the Tank 500, which we also briefly sampled alongside the Ute on a short off-road course. We actually didn't get that much time behind the wheel and not on any paved road, so we can't give you much insight into how it performs, but we do know the details. GWM calls its plug-in hybrid architecture the High 4 t platform, and it underpins both the big off-road models. Underneath the surface, the Canon Alpha FEV is powered by a 2.4-litre turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine paired with two electric motors. The motors are fed from a 37.1 kilowatt hour Trenary lithium battery pack that sits at the rear of the chassis. The combination makes a healthy 300 kilowatts of power and 750 newton meters of torque, so this isn't all about being a fuel sipper, and it does have decent potential for on-road performance, and it has a claimed 3500 kilo towing capacity. Not that it's thirsty, with a claimed fuel consumption return of just 2 litres per 100 k's, which is a great figure for such a big U. The battery also has the potential for vehicle to load capability, so it would make a helpful addition to your next camping trip away if you need any power at the campsite. The particular yellow example we drove was the XRS model line, the more rugged style and suspension package that GWM already offers on the smaller Canon Ute, but not the bigger Canon Alpha, and that's also under consideration for local sale. As for the final question you're probably all asking, how much? Well, that we don't know the answer to. GWM Australia says the plug-in hybrid powertrain can add anywhere from six to $15,000 to the price, depending on you know, how much range and battery you put into it. Obviously, at the $15,000 end of the spectrum, that's gonna make it a very pricey ute, even by modern ute standards, and that could make it a tough sell here, but, it also could come at a time when Australians are increasingly offered more and more fuel efficient hybrid and plug-in hybrid utes, and that could give the Alpha a leg up in Australia. And if you wanna know more, make sure you check out carsguide.com.au for all the latest news, reviews, and videos.